Hello everybody! In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a shooter game in Scratch. Now this game is all about zombies coming from all the four sides and you just gotta shoot them. And for every time you shoot the zombie, you get a point. But if the zombie touches you, you lose a life. And you get three lives in the beginning and if you lose all your lives, then it's gonna be a game over. So this game is so damn simple and let's get right into it. So, all you gotta do is head down to Scratch 3 or you can use your offline editor of Scratch 2. And then, I'm just gonna name this Shooter Game so that you know it's a shooter game and then I'm gonna delete scratch cat we don't need him anymore and then I'm gonna go to backdrops con convert to bitmap and then okay so I actually wanted to do a gradient so I'm just gonna convert to vector actually and then give it a gradient like I, I like red and red and uh, I would like to have red and orange or red and yellow I like red and yellow so I'm just gonna have red and yellow and then after you have done with this gradient you have to convert to bitmap and then boom there you have it now you have to make you have to choose a sprite or you can even make a sprite now I'm talking about sprite which means which means I'm gonna be making a button I, I'm just taking the button from the sprite library you can just create it I'm just gonna change its size to 200 and I forgot about the text so let me just convert to vector mode click the text tool and then say shooter game obviously and then I'm just gonna fill it with black I'm gonna change its font to a handwriting I like handwriting so I'm taking handwriting make it a bit or very big I made it very big and then after that you have your backdrop let me just name this start 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 game no start screen so that is my start screen I like it very much and you can also do some other gradients and let's let's just start coding the button so the button it's just a plain button it doesn't have any text in it so we are gonna add a text let's name it I mean like let's put the word start so now that you have start I'm just gonna increase the size and center that and I'm also gonna in and I'm also gonna center the button also now I'll just put that in there and I'm gonna delete this uh, this costume because I don't need that costume anymore so let's say when the green flag is clicked you have to show obviously and when I receive I mean sorry when this sprite is clicked you have to broadcast start game and after you broadcast start game you have to hide so now let's see the green flag is clicked it shows and if I click it it hides let's see show hide show hide show hide so there it is now we need another backdrop for the game so let's pre just paint a new backdrop and then let's just fill it with a solid color 
and I'm gonna be choosing a gray color I love gray so and then we are gonna just name this game screen okay game screen and then say when the green flag is clicked switch back uh, drop to screen game screen not start screen and then when i receive start game you have to go and switch backdrop to the game screen so now if you see green flag clicked shooter game it shows it off and then it hides show hide so now time to make our shooter so our shooter is pretty simple all you gotta do is just take the circle one and then you just add a fill and outline black and then I'm just gonna increase the outline to 8 and one thing to do a perfect circle is that if you press the shift key you can get a perfect circle or else if you don't press it you get weird shapes we need a perfect circle so let's make it perfect so there we go we have a perfect circle and now let's make the arms of the shooter so the arms of the shooter it's just you basically using the line tool you can just oh that arm is big so let's just delete that and then put that in there there is one arm and there is another arm let me just bring this arm a bit inside these arms need to be inside and then let's also make a gun so gun so how do you make a gun well that's pretty simple all you gotta do is just do this da -da -da. oh and you don't need any fill i mean any outline let me just make that smaller or maybe bigger or maybe smaller yeah this is the perfect size so now let me just center it so that i don't get any problems so now you say when the green flag is clicked forever point in direction i mean point towards mouse pointer so now it just points in direction of the mouse pointer but at the same time when the green flag is clicked you have to hide and when i receive start game then you have to show so there it is now it just hides and shows now i look i think the hunter is a bit big so let me just change it to 75 yeah 75 is nice also this is not sprite one this is the shooter or the hunter and also we have to say is that if key up arrow is pressed move five steps five or seven or nine you can keep any two steps you wanted to but the number of steps if you press the up arrow key and the number of steps okay fine i just don't want to see that i uh, i just got stuck so if the up arrow key is pressed then you move five steps else if the down arrow key is pressed then you move negative five steps and it always points in the direction of the mouse pointer that's pretty good also we need to say go to zero zero which is the center 
off the stage. So now if you can see, it's going in here, it's moving around, happily, 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 and then there it is, there is our shooter. So now our shooter is done. What about the bullet? Well, the bullet is gonna be easy. All you gotta do is you just gonna be make a rectangle. I'm gonna choose yellow and no outline. You can choose any color you wanted to. Now I'm just gonna make a rectangle. It don't have to be perfect either. I'm just gonna make it a bit broader and a bit shorter. Oh, that's short. Yep. Yeah. That's the perfect size. Let me also center that. And let's call this bullet. So now I have my bullet. Say, when the green flag is clicked forever, if the mouse is down, the mouse down uh, means if the mouse is clicked, then you have to create a clone of myself you also take a weight create a clone of myself and wait 0 0.4 seconds you can play with that 0 0.4 seconds you can keep it like 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.9 you can keep it any way you want it to keep it as and then say when I start as clone you have to go to the hunter or the shooter and then you point in direction you go to sensing take this backdrop of stage and if you change the stage to shooter you can get the direction the direction of shooter so point in the direction the direction of shooter and then say repeat until touching edge it's touching the edge oh not the key touching edge <coughs> repeat until touching edge move four steps i'm gonna keep it as four but you can keep it like five six seven eight or how much ever and when the green flag is clicked you have to hide and when I start this clone you have to show this should not happen when the green flag is clicked this should happen when I receive start game so now repeat until touching edge move four steps and then finally you have to delete this clone let's try it out uh, why is it not working? Actually, when flag clicked, you have to hide also. So when the green flag is clicked, you have to hide. You don't need that. When green flag is clicked, you have to hide. That's it. And now, if you can see. Okay, the bullet is a bit bigger. So let me just change that to 50. Or 56. So one thing you might have noticed is that it's coming from its head and not from the pistol. So to solve that problem you have to just say go to shooter, point in direction, direction of shooter and move 20 steps. Now let's try that out. Now if you can see it's coming from the pistol or the gun so anyways that's it for this tutorial if you like it smash that like button and also considering hitting that subscribe button and also turn on post notifications so that you don't miss out my latest YouTube videos so that's it guys also don't forget to share it with your friends and that's it. See ya.